back to Cutie Fly. This is my third, third, third makeup video on this channel. Today, um, I decided to finish out the star line, and this is supposed to be like in between for like the the casual makeup and then like the really, really costumey like drag makeup. If you like this look and you want to see how I did everything, just feel free to keep watching the rest of this video, and I'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, so this is my base, how I normally do it, and brows. If you want to see how I did that, you can go look at the first makeup video on my channel. I am just now contouring, but I'm going to contour with the dark blue a little bit lower than how I would actually contour it, just because I really wanted to give the impression of like a round shape for Squirtle, Bulbasaur, slash Wartortle, just because their heads are extremely round and like bubble and encompass that whole like water type sort of vibe. Um, but I'm just going to put this above in my hairline as well, well, almost my hairline as well, um, just to make sure that it blends evenly, and like I said, this is going to be similar to the technique used in the Bulbasaur video, but not as extreme. I went with this dark blue just because I know Blastoise's skin tone is a little bit darker, and I thought it would be a good way to incorporate all three of them, since I wanted to do like all the starter lines together. This is also like a good time to let you guys know that Squirtle was always my favorite starter. Um, since the beginning, I actually have a stuffed pillow that's a Squirtle that I still hold near and dear to my heart even today. And this is me going in and using a lighter blue from the same palette to kind of act as bronzer for this look and it's a pretty good gradient from like the lighter color to now. This one's more of a true match for Squirtle's skin tone and then later on I'm going to be using a more teal based blue for blush but um, this just kind of goes on how bronzer would and it frames the face and makes things blended out a little bit better. Um, I always thought that Squirtle had the best personality on Ash's team. It was very feisty and rowdy and just always down for a good time and that's the kind of personality I wish I had. Growing up I was like extremely shy and I always wanted to be that extroverted kind of person that just kind of like walked in a room and everybody like noticed them and that's how I felt like Squirtle was especially with like you know black sunglasses and you know being the leader of the Squirtle squad and it was something that like I wish I could have been and looked up to so maybe that's why I always chose it as my partner. Oh, also I should mention that I actually did contour my chin area and neck with a brown like I normally would, and that kind of helps like, one, make my face look a bit thinner, but two, kind of like brings down like how eccentric this look is with like some more natural contour. And this is the teal color that's just going on as blush. I put it very high on my face, um, more so than I would with blush normally. My face shape's a little bit weird, weird where I have like, very large cheeks but high cheekbones so um, it's always a guessing game when I put on blush because it can either go everywhere or nowhere but this time I put it pretty high and in um, again just trying to give the impression that like this is supposed to be a reptile slash fish slash mermaid look and um, to give the impression that like my skin tone is actually supposed to be blue but without doing a blue face paint everywhere um, this is also a technique I learned from watching a lot of Korean beauty videos and so normally you would put like blush along the bridge of your nose instead of just on your cheeks and it's supposed to give a little bit more color to your face. I like doing this especially around the summertime before I go out and tan or actually get sunburned um, because it gives me a little bit of like a better glow and I'm just doing this with the blue here. It looks a little bit stark just because it's blue but when you do it with like normal blush it looks actually really really cute. This is just me now starting on the eyes, and I really wanted to take inspiration from like the shell of Squirtle, Wartortle, and Blastoise for my eyes. I did the shape, like, I tried to follow the natural shape of my eyes where it's kind of droopy but also very round. Um, and I played with that and kind of accentuated it a little bit with the brown. Again, it's like in my crease but also above it to give a lot of contrast. And all the, like, if you notice right now, there's not a lot of warmth in my face at all with all the blues, but the browns are really going to help bring that warmth back into the face so it doesn't look as weird or, like, weirder than it should be. And this is me just taking that same color, 
um, and dragging it around the bottom of my eye to just kind of like tie everything together and make things look more even and make my eyes stand out a little bit more. I feel like I, I normally do this step with my makeup anyway and if you watch this video you'll see this is kind of normally how I do my eyes except a little bit more dramatic because browns are darker. This is me just blending out the edges to make it look like not as stark and you can see that took two seconds and it already looks a lot softer. I feel like it's really important to blend and people kind of like miss that step because they're so distracted by pigment and it's not like a thing where you want your makeup to look more natural but it kind of looks like you've done it with a purpose as opposed to just like slapping it on there you know so this is also me just trying to do like a cut crease technique i normally don't do this um i only do this if i like have a lot of time or a special event but basically you just put concealer on your eyes and put it on the lid and it's supposed to give like more of a definition between two colors if you're using multiple colors and the concealer actually also helps the eyeshadow stick on longer if you want um, some people start off like use concealer or primer for eyeshadows to put on I'm lazy I don't always do that but for this look I thought it would be nice to do since the shell has like a rim, outer rim and then like inner part and so it's important to get that contrast later on I'm going to go in once it's all blended with a lighter color that's like a shimmer shade and it's more closer to oh sorry missing steps um, I just go back in and redefine that crease a little bit just for more contrast with a dark brown again but then afterwards I'm going to go in with like a lighter color that's like a shimmer shade um, it's a light 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 nude um, just to kind of go in and make my eyes pop a little bit a lot of the colors I use today have glitters in them and I don't know if you can see them on camera but when I get close you'll probably be able to see all the shimmer in there as well but anyway, as I was talking about this shell, um, I just remember the first Pokemon movie with Mewtwo. It's funny because the female trainer that goes to the island, she has a Blastoise and she gave it a nickname, Shell Shocker, you know? And for some reason, when I was a kid, I thought that was like its actual name. So I referred to like my Blastoise and every Blastoise as Shell Shocker. And I just thought that was like, I don't know why that didn't dawn on me that it didn't make any sense when everybody else had like normalish names, but that's how I called it every single Blastoise back then and it's kind of funny to laugh at now just like growing up and knowing better but you know kids think weird things this is me just putting on highlighter um also I tried I use like very gold based highlighters I try to avoid all pink as possible just because it fits with the color story of these um of this look a little bit better and I'm just putting the highlighter on it as I normally would on my temples cheeks nose and mouth I also like how this highlighter didn't necessarily blend in with the blue but also didn't mess up either oh this is also me putting highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes and this is important to do to make sure your eyes look open I'm also going to put it on my brow bone just to kind of give it a little bit of extra something something um, and then you can do this stuff with like more natural looking makeup too if you wanted to do like a softer highlight and nobody would really notice until you came out in the sunlight. I, la I thought this was funny because I didn't plan on using a mascara with a blue cap, but here we are anyway. Um, this is me just showing you like how much a look can change with a little mascara, I swear to god. I always get insecure before I show off my final look and once I pop on mascara I feel like my whole face changes, but that's just me. Also, if I didn't say so before, let me do some like random facts about Squirtle. Um, number six in the pokedex i believe the first time we see it is in episode 12 of the pokemon anime i have that memorized because it is my absolute favorite episode oh this part here um i decided to put circles on my face because i noticed that war turtle had circles underneath it's or on top of its cheeks and i wanted to really 
pull the middle evolution a little bit more. And I thought it looked cool, but then later on when I was like taking pictures of myself for thumbnails and everything else, I realized once I squinted my face, it looked a lot like Sobble, like the new Pokemon, it's because it looked like teardrops crying. So I guess this is also doubles not only as like a Squirtle line makeup, but also if you wanted to cosplay as Sobble, it could be pretty easy just like you could take these cheek marks and actually make them look like teardrops and then just like have a little yellow fin on your head and you'd be really good to go honestly. Oh, and this is just me lining my lips with two different nudes. I'm going to use a brown, a really bronzy brown based nude and then go over with an apricot nude just because I feel like those are really flattering to my face and they also match the brown shell colors that the squirrel line has. I also think the squirrel line is really cute because I value friendship and teamwork and the squirrel squad is the most adorable version of that and later on they become firefighters instead of doing crimes they give back to the community and this is the final look really I'm just tossing my hair and trying to make it look like sort of cute again you could wear this with like a blue wig if you really really want to cosplay um, this is a lot more down, t like toned down than normal cosplay makeup would be, but I still thought it would be fun. Well, there we go. That's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I know it's like a giant heat wave right now, and like playing makeup is the last thing I wanted to do. Um, but I mean, if you can't go outside, you might as well do this. Am I right? I had a lot of fun. I love all the blues. Squirtle was still like my, one of my OG favorites and it's fun that I got to do this for him. I think the blues really turned out well and I didn't want to overpower it. Um, if you aren't into like the costume makeup but like you could just do the same sort of effect with blush and contour and like have a very like nice glammed up but still sort of natural makeup look and this is kind of like how I do my eyes um, most of the time anyway. If you enjoyed and feel free to click on other makeup videos on this channel and we also have like a bunch of shopping stuff um, too if you want to check that out and feel free to click on more videos um, if you want to check out more of my content and thanks so much for watching. Thanks! Bye!